Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing a makeup tutorial and it is a really bomb cut crease with like some detailed liner. Um, so I'll just be walking you guys through everything that I do from my brows uh, throughout the eyeshadow and as you can see I did do my base already pretty much because my foundation routine is pretty much the same um, so I can do an updated video on that later but for this tutorial we are just starting with the brows So I just filled in my brows with the e.l.f. liner and brow gel. You can get this from Walmart or Target for about $4. And then I just use the angle brush that I have from Benefit Cosmetics. And I will be carving my brows with the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys, a little bit goes a very long way with this. Um, it's very, very thick. And I'm not used to working with uh, concealer this thick. So I have to kind of get used to it because I just got some shape tape so yeah I'm just using a morphe brush that uh, morphe concealer brush and carving underneath my brows So I like to basically carve underneath and then blend the concealer down to make sure it's all even and you should have something that looks like this. Okay, snatched. <laughs> um, so next, to get ready for the eyeshadow, I'm just putting some sharp shape, the tart shape tape on my lids. <laughs> All over my lids before I start applying the um, eyeshadow. And I'm using this really pretty orange shade from Juvia's Place Afrique palette. It is the shade Dakar. And I'm just building that up right in that crease area, as you guys can see. Make sure it's as pigmented as you want it or as you can get it. And then I'm going in with Ofala from the Juvia's Place. Which palette is this? I believe it's the Festival Festival palette. And then I'm taking the Saharan and I'll be deepening it up with the black from the Saharan palette. So whenever I use black eyeshadow, I like to slowly but surely build it up. You don't want to just put like heck of black on and then be blending it out for like heck of long. So I, especially when I put the eyeshadow on like this, when I start with another color. So I just build it up a little bit. And now I'm just taking a fluffy uh, brush with no eyeshadow on it. And I didn't add any product. I just blended out that raw edge in between the concealer and the eyeshadow I started putting on. You should have something that looks like that. And now I'm just going to cut my crease with the Tarte Shape Tape and the Morphe brush, the same two things I used to carve my brows. And I'll just be cutting the crease entirely. And as you can see, I created a guideline to cut my crease when I put on the black eyeshadow. So that's how it's easier to get like the same shape on both sides. If you struggle with that, try to create the shape of the cut crease with the eyeshadow that you're using prior to applying the concealer and cutting your crease. <laughs> All 
All right, so you can make your cut crease as perfect as you want. Um, we will be adding liner to the crease later, so just keep that in mind. You don't have to get so stressed about making it perfect. Um, but here, I'm just adding that orange from the Saharan palette. Um, I forgot what the color is called, but I'll put it all in the description box for you. And I just added that to my inner corner with the same brush that I used originally when I started my eyeshadow look. And here I'm just putting some, um, what is this? This is the Airspun, the Airspun uh, translucent powder. I put that on the top of where I cut my crease. And then I'm going in with that same color from the Sahara and the orange and just rubbing that all over my lower lid. And then underneath my eyes, of course, to add dimension. Okay, honestly, here's the tea. <laughs> this liner is like $2.99 and I got it from Ulta. It's so pigmented, it's wet and wild as you guys can see. Um, I did a close up so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally just putting the liner like right on my crease where I cut and I'll, um, I'll actually be creating like a detailed look with this liner. So I did zoom in so you guys could see everything that I did. But as you can see, like the consistency of the liner is bomb. And I mean, the NYX liner, honestly, like if I can find these wet and wild liners in every color, I will stop using the NYX liner because it does not, the wet and wild liner doesn't crack as much as the NYX liner. And you guys can see like how great of um, a application it has. So. I absolutely love these. $3 at Ulta. Get you some. After you're done creating your liner look and all the details um, so that little space that you guys saw me create I'm just gonna put some duo eyelash glue in between and then I'm putting some loose glitter on top of that and you can use any glitter or color anything you want and then I'll also be adding it to my lower lid and then we'll be popping on some lashes and things So the color I'm using for underneath my brows is the same highlight that I have on, which is the Milani Strobe Light, and that will be in the description box for you guys as well, so you guys will know what exactly I use, but it's the Milani Highlight. It's like holy grail for me. And here I'm just adding some rhinestones to like right underneath where the blue liner is. So I'm just putting some more of that dual lash glue down. And then I'll be applying little tiny mini mini rhinestones.
all right and now i'm just adding some of my favorite lashes from aliexpress you guys these are like a dollar 25 for a pack of vibe and i order heck of them every time i order lashes from aliexpress i'll go ahead and link those below for you guys in the description box and i'm just gonna buff out my contour and then add some of the fenty beauty gloss balm to my lips you guys it just hit a year since i've had this uh, lip gloss and it is well worth 18 dollars because i'm just now running out so get you some um <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all for this look and it was supposed to be like a genie look for halloween i just didn't have like the full on um, costume so just let me know if you guys are feeling this look i'm hella feeling the eyes so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. You guys, this cut crease is popping. And I'll see you guys in my next video.